Hello and welcome back to another video. If you haven't already seen the other video I've made on FIFA 22 final save ideas, make sure you check it out after this video because it got such a huge amount of support, I thought I'd make a part two. In today's video, we've got another four teams that I've come up with some ideas for you to have your final FIFA 22 save on. I've tried to make every single idea only take one or two seasons just so that it's not too long because I'm sure you've been playing this game for like nine months now so you might not be interested in doing a 15 season challenge. So anyway let's get started with my first idea and it's one I've talked about on this channel before, Stad Ren. So this is a club that has a huge amount of prospects. If you know anything about football or you've paid any attention to European football you'll know some of the players they've had in their squad over the past couple of years. People like Steven and Zonze, Clermont Grenier, Gaboho, and more recently Kamavinga, who of course now plays for Real Madrid. They've all come through the Youth Academy at Stad Ren because they have one of the best youth academies in the entire country. The most recent graduate could be Mathis Tell, who could be a really fun player to develop if you do choose to do a Stad Rene career mode. He's got attributes in every area you'll want for your winger, and he's only 16 years old with a ton of potential, so you can develop him exactly however you want him to play. Sulemana, Duku, and Maya are not only three of their best players, but they're also three very young players. In Sulemana and Doku's case, 19 years old on FIFA, and they have the three highest potential in the entire squad. The club's finances are in a really good state as well. They've got a decent transfer and wage budget. And if you want to know a little bit more about the club, I really do recommend you read up on about the culture of the youth academy and why they have such a good set of finances. In 2020, they finished third in the league. Last year, they finished sixth. And in this season, they've managed to finish fourth, which means they've qualified for the Europa League, which is definitely going to be your target in the first season. I really do recommend Stad Ren because it's a good save. You can possibly make them the best of the rest. If you can manage to hang on to youth prospects, you can probably even eventually challenge PSG for the title. That's why I think this save will probably only take three seasons. You'll probably be in the Europa League first season. You'll qualify for the Champions League in second place, second season. And then the third season will be an all out blitz to try and overtake PSG. Maybe you could even try and re-sign someone like Camavinga from Real Madrid if you have earned enough Champions League money despite it probably not being the most realistic decision. If you're looking for some places to sign some players from, I would definitely recommend Denmark, Croatia and Le Havre, because Denmark's where they've got Sulemana from, Croatia is where Myers come from last season, both of them playing really well, and Le Havre is fairly close to Rennes, it's in a lower league and it has a similar quality of youth output, so they'll always have some good young players if you are looking for some of those. The second team we're looking at today is FC Zurich. They're another team full of high potential players, but Zurich are more of a build a nation save. You could easily do something like a club and country save with them, where you start out with Zurich and eventually you try and get the Swiss manager job and see how far you can take both the club and the country. In real life, Zurich won the Swiss league by 14 points, yet on FIFA they're only the fourth best team in the league. It would be a challenge to try and win the league by more points than they did in real life, which would be pretty interesting because they do have a random set of nationalities in their squad. You've got Tunisians, Canadians, you've got Kosovans, and you've even got the more traditional Germans and Italians. So while you're trying to build your country by getting lots of Swiss players in your youth academy, you should also be trying to get some random nationalities in there as well, maybe scouting some of the African countries or maybe even some of the Asian ones where they do like to sign players from in Switzerland. Wilfred Notto is going to be probably your star player after a few seasons. He of course has really good potential but does start out low rated. You could train him as a mobile striker, see if you can get him to max out his pace at 99 which is more than possible when his pace already starts off in the mid 80s and he's only 17 years old. Of course he has low finishing so maybe you should focus on that instead and accept that he won't reach 90 pace but he could reach low 80s for his finishing instead. With your youth academy, you could even get someone who's got better potential than Wilfred Notto and just sell him straight away and see if you can fund that money into a youth academy scout. I think it could be really fun as well if you try and bring back some of their former players or other Swiss national team players. So Ricardo Rodriguez, Admir Mamedi and Nico Elvedi considered both as former players and Swiss national team players. So why don't you have a look at those and see if you can make Zurich win the league again. 
This next idea is going to take a little bit of effort from you. Not too much, it'll probably only be around 10 seconds. I'm recommending Cardiff in this next idea, where you move Gareth Bale, as looks pretty possible, into their squad before you begin the save. You'll be taking over Cardiff and as soon as you can Wales, so similar to this previous idea with Zurich, but you're going to be playing in the English Premier League eventually with Cardiff City. Of course, the ideal situation would be you get promoted in the first season. Gareth Bale gets a ton of goals, as you'd expect, because he still is in the 80 ratings, and you'll have a huge amount of money that you can spend in your second season because you've been promoted. I think it's probably pretty realistic that this would happen, because even if you simulate every single game, Gareth Bale's still probably going to hit around 20 to 30 goals every single season. You've also got the option of spending most of your transfer budget on Aaron Ramsey, who of course also used to play for Cardiff on two different occasions. This is what makes Cardiff such a special team on career mode in my opinion and why I think you should do a save with them, because they do have this attraction to Welsh players being the capital city of Wales and also having a pretty good youth academy around 10 years ago that pumped out some really good players, you can actually bring them back and it be quite realistic. Bale was actually born in Cardiff even if he didn't play for Cardiff themselves. He played for a youth team there before being scooped up at 10 years old by the Southampton Youth Academy. He is actually a Cardiff City fan and he has actually said that he thinks Cardiff are a bigger club than Swansea. So it is fairly realistic him coming back and it does look like it could actually happen in real life. I do recommend you give this one a go even if it does take you editing the squads just before you start off the career mode save. The final idea on this video is going to be Vissel Kobe. So there's been rumors of the entire Japanese league leaving FIFA. So now would be a really good time to do a final save with Vissel Kobe. They're mostly known for having Andres Iniesta in their squad, but they've also had David Villa, Lucas Podolski, Sergi Samper, and until January this year, they also had Thomas Vermaelen. They've got Bojan Kurkic currently playing on the wing. So if you're into resurrecting fallen FIFA legends, he used to be someone with 90 something potential, so maybe you can see if you can reach anything near that with Bojan Kurkic. I really do rate this save idea for a couple of different reasons. Realistically, they can sign anyone. Their owner is Rakuten, who are worth over 8.2 billion euros. So no matter how much you spend, you can kind of say it's realistic. Of course, Messi, Ronaldo probably wouldn't ever go to Japan, but the next level of players out there possibly could. The Japanese league is also eligible to win the Asian Champions League on FIFA, which is something not a lot of leagues can do of course, with it only being around 3 or 4 different Asian leagues on the game. This means you could possibly start the Pentagon Challenge if you're enjoying your save and have managed to win the Asian Champions League. Make sure you check out my channel if you don't know what the Pentagon Challenge is. It's one of the most fun ideas you can do for your FIFA save, so even if you don't do it on FIFA 22, maybe check it out for FIFA 23. And the final reason I recommend Vissel Kobe is that despite they've spent so much money compared to the other Japanese teams, they have actually never won their league. So you do have the option of being the first manager to ever win the league with a massive spending and well-known football club, something you can't really say for any other league. Anyway, thank you all for watching this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it and hopefully you'll give one of these saves a go and let me know which one you do in the comments below. If you want to send me any screenshots or anything, feel free to follow me on Twitter and tweet at me or join the Discord, which is also both linked in the description below. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you very soon for another video. Subscribe if you enjoyed this one. Like it if you're going to do any of the saves ideas. Thank you and goodbye.